Now, I thought I'd show you how quickly iron reacts. Well, usually it reacts very, very slowly with oxygen and over lots of time to give us the red colour. But we can speed things up a bit. And in the tube here, I've got some very, very finely divided iron. In fact, if I bring a magnet to it, it, is, uh, it can pick up this, this iron. So I think I can probably just about suspend the tube here by the magnet. So this is filled with finely divided iron powder. And in a moment, I'm going to break open this glass because at the moment the iron powder is in the glass tube here with no air in there. And if I allow the air to react with the iron powder, you should see a reaction. So if I stand up here, so you can all see. So what I'm going to do is snap open the container and slowly sprinkle out the iron. Well, actually, it's iron that's present in the sparklers that give you these sort of you know, sparks that you normally see on bonfire night, the sparklers there. And it's uh, little particles of iron being heated up. And this, the sparks that you saw here were due to the finely divided iron reacting with the oxygen, instantly forming, well, if we look on the floor there later, you'll see a sort of an orangey-brown colour there, and that's essentially rust. It's iron oxide. So iron is actually pretty reactive and combines easily with oxygen. Well, in case you didn't quite see the sparks there, we're going to show you another version. <laughs> 